Jess. Welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to do a little bit of a plant spotlight today. I'm going to be planting this gorgeous Japanese maple, you guys. I have been on the hunt for this particular Japanese maple for over six months. So I was super excited when I found this in my local Lowe's. All of the plants that they had, or all the trees, I should say, all the maples, were super fried and super crispy. Their leaves were just all brown and curled up. So of course I found the manager and the manager agreed to give me this more than half off, you guys. I will leave some pictures of some tags of the ones that I was looking at and their prices, y'all. I got this plant for $40. You hear me? 40 bucks. And look how tall it is. It's taller than I am. Normally, the plants that are maybe up to my knee are 50 and $60. So I was super excited to get this for 40 bucks. This one is pretty tall and it is a little bit misshapen, but hopefully we can get it back to how it should look. This is called the Anaba Shadar Japanese Maple. And I really wanted to do a video on this because when I was researching this plant, I really couldn't find many videos on it at all. So I'm going to talk a little bit about this plant today. This is a weeping habit Japanese maple. The name Shadar does mean weeping. This is native to Korea, China, and Japan. It is a lacy foliage or a lacy leaf Japanese maple. You may be familiar with the Crimson Queen. That's a more common weeping Japanese maple. But the reason I like this one is because from what I read, this one grows a little bit faster than most weeping Japanese maples. Japanese maples are extremely slow growing trees. So this one, over a 10 year period, you guys, can get up to 10 to 12 feet tall and wide, over 10 years. So if you just let it grow, I think the largest I read, it gets maybe 15 to 18 feet tall. So yes, it's a super slow growing tree, but it provides gorgeous season long interest, you guys. These are deciduous trees. So again, it will drop all of its leaves in the fall and winter and then flush out with new growth in the spring. And in the spring, the new growth normally comes out this pretty green color and the stems are this pretty pink. And then during the summertime, it turns this gorgeous plum purple color and in the fall, it turns a bright fire red. So season long interest on these trees, you guys. I am so excited to plant this in my landscape. This is going to be my focal tree for the new bed that I created in the front yard. It'll probably grow maybe six to eight feet wide and just create this gorgeous weeping umbrella habit. So I'm so excited to plant this in the ground. These are hydro zones five through eight and they do take anywhere from partial shade to full sun. The more sun you give these, the better the red coloring and purple coloring you'll get in the summertime on these. But be careful with that because they can be prone to burning. These are a lace leaf type of maple. So these leaves do burn very easily, particularly their new growth. So just keep an eye on the watering. You want to make sure that you're watering these at least twice a week until they're fully established. But yeah, you guys, I'm super excited about this Japanese maple, you guys. This is going to be my baby. I'm going to baby the mess out of this tree. But I'm going to go ahead, get it in the ground, and then I'll talk about the plants that I'm going to plant around the area. Okay, you guys, she is all planted in all of her glory. And I think she'll fill in this space 
just perfectly. I hope you enjoyed this quick little plant spotlight. If you do like these type of videos, please give me a thumbs up so I know to do more and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.